Hello again everybody, it's me, Sam Hills, and Scott Wolfram back again for another video, and as you can see, it's another response video, because I like coming out of hiding to do these. Are you all well? That's good. If you are, leave a comment below, let me know how you are, and all the stuff that comes with it. So, yes, I'm back doing another response video, because these are fun to do, and uh, this is not responding to, this is, this isn't responding, by the way, this isn't responding to, um... Uh, TF Nolsey, like I have been doing recently, uh, but instead I'm responding to Dave, uh, Dave Wallace, Mr. Carl Prime, the man himself, um, doing as a, uh, doing a sort of a video that, uh, that he put out a little while ago, and I've just been watching it, and, um, I just thought I might as well throw in a response to, to this particular, quite, to this particular video that he's done. Uh, I saw that uh, Bisto Yeti did uh, did a response to him as well, uh, to Pearl uh, Prime as well regarding this topic. So um, so let's get started into this. This is uh, the vid the name of the video or the name of the re the name of the response to this video is T F N is coming. T F Nation is coming because um, as we are slowly slowly heading into August, T F Nation is only about a month away, and I'm getting pretty excited for it. And I want to talk about what I'm excited for. So, with that in mind, um, because it's been a swatteringly unbearable week, as it would be around this time of the year. Uh, let's get started. Right, so, um, there's a, there's a lot to really talk about regarding TF Nation this year, because there's a lot going on. Um, I've been looking at the guests, looking at the lineup, looking at seeing who's coming and everybody else. And, um, and, and, and I'll, it's, a little, it's a little bit difficult to really talk about how, uh, how excited I am for TF Nation, because, uh, I didn't get the chance to go last year for a lot of different reasons, um, but I miss, I, I've, I've missed being, I've missed being at, the, at these sorts of things, and if you haven't been to, um, to a TF Nation before, you really should, it's a lot of fun. And the thing with me and, uh, how, uh, convention going has been going lately, specifically with Transformers convention going, um, I don't like bragging about this because it can get very boring the more you repeat yourself after this whole subject. Um, but you know, I've been going for I've been going to these things for roughly fourteen years now, and I know that there there are two separate conventions. But going so far back as Auto Assembly, which was um, back in two thousand and three, which was my first ever one, and since then it's kind of been going up and 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 up. And up. And, uh, really, just, um, you know, it's, it's funny, because from 2003 to 2008, it always was just about the toys for me, uh, for a while. Because the, the whole idea was, is, um, I'd go there, buy some toys, look at the panels, look at the guests, and then leave. And that was the whole thing for the, for a couple of years. Didn't interact with that many people, uh, because I didn't know anybody around that point. It wasn't until 2008 when I, when I started interacting with people... Very loosely, though. So, just as a way to kind of really get into the excitement of things. Then, around when 2009 came along with the um, with Auto Assembly 2009, that's when the uh, the social wheel began to spin. And I know that um, uh, it kind of wasn't the first experience for that, especially for anyone who's been to Transforce and anything like that. And I I I'd never even been to Transforce, so I can't, I can't really speak for I can't speak for anyone who went to Transforce, but um. But 2009, for a lot of people, was when the whole social boom really began to uh, manifest and sort of really take shape. And if, uh, and also as well, considering where we are now, um, 2009 pretty much was how each of us kind of really got started into the whole YouTube thing and how everything sort of blossomed from there. Um, I mean, I mean, 2009 really did kind of um, kick off that whole social networking through YouTube, and getting the whole, um, YouTube tour of viewer thing started off, and that's kind of where the whole thing started out, and as things, uh, gradually progressed through the years, we've watched that whole YouTube, um, formation kind of fall, not wayside, but just sort of just kind of lie low a little bit, and then, and some things like Facebook, and Twitter, and all other forms of social media, we've been able to meet each other through that, and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and, uh, that's just, that's that, that's pretty much just kind of how um, everything sort of uh, took shape from there. So and and now here we are in 2019 with TF Nation, um, 
because that's been going on for a little while. And I'm already seeing everyone's excitement for it. I'm seeing a lot of posts on Twitter. I'm seeing a lot of videos talking about it. I'm seeing a lot of uh, various anticipations for the guests and the con itself. And I'm pretty excited for it, as you should be too if you are going. So let's talk about what's, what's going on at this year's convention for everyone else. And that includes the guests, and if you're wondering what the banging is, that's my door. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, uh, let's talk about the guests, because we've, we've got a lineup, and I'll try and remember the names off the top of my head, so bear with me. Um, of course, returning guests, we have Greg Berger and Peter Spellos. Chances are, if you've uh, met Greg Berger before, and you've met Peter Spellos before, um, they are genuinely down-to-earth great people. I know that um, Peter Spellos has his whole improv... Uh, uh, improv thing going on, and he's got a whole improv show at TF Nation this year, I believe. I could be wrong, someone correct me on that. Um, but yeah, but there's that. So, the, the, and there's those two, and uh, there's also Brian Drummond coming to TF Nation, who I'm excited for. If you don't know who Brian Drummond is, um, you know, outside of Transformers, outside of Beast Machines and Unicorn Trilogy, because he was involved in those, he's, he's mainly, he was, he's mainly been involved in a lot of anime, and if you like, uh, mostly from the Gundam series, like uh, like in, like series like Gundam Wing, as uh, and a personal favorite of mine, uh, he was in um, this series way back in the nineties and in, in the late nineties when this was dubbed. This is Vision of Escaflone, and uh, Brian Drummond played. Oh, hang on. don't drink. No, don't drink. Yeah, you know, he played this guy, Alan Shazar. Um, the, uh, in the ocean group of this, uh, the, uh, the the ocean group dub of this of this series. I know that there's a Funimation dub. I've not seen it, so I can't, I can't really comment on this. But uh, personally, I, I just I just think that the the ocean group dub is better. I think that um, with the way that that dub has, I mean, I know that some of the translations for it can be a little bit a uh, bit silly now, especially when you look at how uh, some of the lines sound. But I honestly think this is one of the better jobs out there. So um, no offense to animation, if you like that, then that's fine. Um, but yeah, so he uh, he was involved in this, and he was also uh, the Shinigami Ryuk in Death Note. So he's been in a ton of anime. Um, so if you're in, if you're into oh, and of course he was Fujita in, in the Ocean Dub of Dragon Ball Z. Don't want to forget that because that's that 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 that, that, that I think is kind of a big uh, well-known thing for. Uh, for anyone who's a who's a Dragon Ball fan, anyone who likes anime, if you want to, if you want, if you go to TF Nation and you want to meet somebody who's been involved in that series and you love it, um, Dragon Ball Z, Brian Drummond was for Cheetah, That's where the shit's at. Um, apart from that, you have uh, all the all, um, the comic guests. Uh, I think Brian. I hope, I hope I'm saying his name probably. Um, I, I hope it's, I hope it's his correct name. Brian Rucker. I think that's his name. I could I could be wrong. I can't. I'm sorry if I got the name wrong, but one of the writers who is in, who's currently involved in the current in in the current comics in the current Transformers um, IDW series, I've only read some of them, and they're 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 really they're really not for me. But if you want, if you want to go like him, that's fine. Um, he's he's attending as are James Roberts, Simon Furman, artists like Kazama, and of course uh, EJ Sue, who I really like his his design work. So um, that's that that's that's a big highlight. So, so there's a lot to really enjoy, uh, guest-wise, on all sides. If you if you're going to TF Nation to really see, so um, what else uh, regarding um, the, the the social side of uh, well, the, the, what TF Nation in general? What are you looking forward to? Um, I mentioned some of the guests. I've mentioned some of the things that are going on. Um, and to be really honest, there's there's only a handful of things I'm looking forward to. Um, I know that this is going to sound very boring because uh, we've it it, it kind of it gets brought up a lot in these sorts of videos that what are you looking forward to when at around this time of the year when things get this close to the thing that you're attending, what are you looking forward to seeing the most? The one thing that people will always fall back on is the people. The people are at the end of the day what they look forward to to seeing and to interacting with. Um, so 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 there's that. And I do and I and I completely agree that that is a very important aspect of the convention. The people are always are always new new people and older people are always are always fun to meet. So there's that. And um, 
But apart from that, uh, what else? Uh, the toys... I only really want a few of the toys, and I, I've, I, as I've kind of grown a little bit distant from Transformers toy collecting as of late, uh, I haven't really been I haven't really been too interested in any of the toys. I know that the Siege line is popular at the moment, and that's well, the Siege line and Bot Bots and whatever else third party turns out. So that so there's that. Um, but I, I I only really want just two toys, and that's. Uh, if I can find one, a G1 trip. I mean, well, here's my shopping list. A G1 Trypticon, an Iron Factory Lord Scorpion, and that's about it. The rest of the money either just goes to food and drink and supporting the people over at the Forge. Because that's that's kind of really what I want to do, is just support the people who uh, who work who are over there and do their own thing. So I'm more excited so I'm excited for that. Um, support the little guys as they as they move up in the world. To bigger and better things to get them where they need to be, so um, so yeah, that's that's kind of where I stand with the with the whole uh, Tier Nation thing this year. Um, I miss going. I haven't been in the, in a while, and I want to get back into it again. I miss seeing all of you lovely people. So uh, if you know who you are, then that's great. Um, but as for the rest of the convention, um, hopes and fears, and all that sort of thing. I've got my own personal fears, but I won't mention them in this. And as for hopes, um, <sighs> hopes, 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 hopes. Um, I guess all I can really hope for out of the convention is that it's a, it'll be a good time, and that's uh, that's a guarantee that that will be automatic anyway. And um, yeah. And that's, that's kind of where I stand, and I know that it'll be good anyway, because this is being put together by a team of really well-established crew members who, um, who care a lot about the, who care a lot about this and want to see it be a success. So, uh, um, so that, so there really is a lot to, to take in from that, and, um, yeah, so, uh, I, I don't know what else to say about that. I think that, uh, hopes and fears-wise, um, hopes, just the, the convention will be good, and that's an automatic guarantee that it will be. It hasn't let me down in the past, and it's got no reason to in the future. Um, so yeah, that's kind of uh, my response to this question video thing that you that he's done. I hope it turns out okay. Um, if you want to respond to this video, I highly recommend that you do so. There's a link down below in the description box. You can follow the video and respond to it yourself, and uh, you'll be able to put together your own thing about what you're excited for and what you're looking forward to with this year's uh, TF Nation. Um, and where I stand, uh, I'll be around. And uh, <laughs> if you know what I look like, then come over and say hi. Um, but yeah, so so um, I, I, think, I think all I can really say is um, hope everyone who is going has a really good time and hopefully to any new people I, that I had Come that I cross paths with, uh, I'll see you all there as well as uh, meet a couple more places as well. Um, so that's pretty much it for me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you all at Tier Nation. Take care.